For over two decades, David Milgard and his mother worked to prove his innocence while he was behind bars. Arrested for murder at just 16, he was finally freed at age 39. Really good to be out forever, right? Lawyer David Asper helped them, working to get Milgard released from prison in 1992, then fully exonerated in 1997. It filled my heart with joy uh, to see him as a free person. And uh, needless to say, um, it's a really tough day today. Milgard was passing through Saskatoon with friends in 1969 when he was arrested for the rape and murder of Gail Miller. Police said evidence pointed to the home where he was staying for one night only. He was convicted the next year. I don't know how you can lead a normal life after spending so many years in jail at, at such a young age. Cecil Rosner co-wrote a book on Milgard and his research helped clear his name. When we looked at the totality of all the evidence, we were both convinced that he was innocent. Not only that he was innocent, but we knew who the real killer was. The real killer was Larry Fisher. He'd been living in the basement of the same house where Milgard stayed in Saskatoon. In 1980, Fisher's ex-wife even told police she believed he was the likely killer, but police were unconvinced. For years, lawyers and journalists accused police of tunnel vision. DNA evidence later conclusively proved Milgard's innocence. There's no dollars and cents value on the kind of things that uh, you know, are lost. Seven years after his release, the government awarded David Milgard and his family $10 million. Milgard then spent years campaigning for an independent review board and advocating for people wrongfully convicted. David Milgard died this weekend. He was 69. Emily Brass, CBC News, Winnipeg.